Wednesday, August 2nd, 2023, Morning Edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated video. Good morning, dear viewers. Welcome to the future of news reporting with your AI-generated news anchor, Xander Voxius IntelliReport, also known as Nexus Vanguard III. Thank you for tuning in. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so today. Join me as I am assisted by my esteemed AI-generated colleagues in summarizing today's headlines and bringing you the latest news updates. Let's dive into today's news, in today's headlines. Jack Ma turns to farming after China Tech crackdown. Kombucha may lower blood sugar levels in diabetes. Scientists find universal COVID antibodies. Yankees stay quiet on trade block, lose to raise. HSBC's net profit surges, $2 billion buyback announced, lawyers criticize Travis Scott over Astroworld incident, and more. But first, this day in history. August 2nd in history. August 2nd, 1377. Russian troops are defeated by forces of the Blue Horde Khan Arapsha in the battle on Piana River. August 2nd, 1415. Thomas Gray is executed for participating in the Southampton plot. Today's obituaries. Nitin Chandrakant Desai, 57 Indian art director, Lagan 1942, A Love Story, and production designer, Such a Long Journey, Suicide. Brief Wikipedia summary. Nitin Chandrakant Desai, an Indian art director and production designer, has died by suicide at the age of 57. Desai was known for his work in films such as Lagan and 1942, a love story. Henri Conan Bedi, 89, Ivorian politician, president, 1993-1999. Brief Wikipedia summary. Henri Conan Bedi, a former Ivorian president and politician, has passed away at the age of 89. He served as president from 1993 to 1999 and was a prominent figure in Ivorian politics. Tony Bryan, 54, Irish footballer, Chesterfield, Hull City, Rotherham United. Brief Wikipedia summary. Tony Bryan, a former Irish footballer, has passed away at the age of 54. He played for several clubs in the Football League and was involved in allegations of sexual abuse within the sport. Duong Van Ngo, 93, Vietnamese postal worker and letter writer. Brief Wikipedia summary. Duong Van Ngo, a 93-year-old Vietnamese postal worker and letter writer, passed away on August 1st, 2023. He was known as the last public letter writer in Vietnam and had a distinguished career spanning over 70 years in the Postal Service. Famous people born on this day? August 2nd, 1960. David Yao, American singer-songwriter. August 2nd, 1948. James Street, American football and baseball player, died 2013. Business news. FTX plans to restart crypto exchange for international customers. Coindesk. The article discusses the filing made by cryptocurrency exchange FTX, which categorizes its claimants into different groups such as dot-com customers, U.S. customers, NFT exchange customers, and general unsecured claims, among others. It also mentions that subordinated claims include taxes and fines. Alibaba co-founder Jack Ma turns to farming after China tech crackdown. Business Insider. Jack Ma, co-founder of Alibaba, has invested in a new agritech company in China. Ma, who largely disappeared from public view after criticizing China's financial regulatory system, has been traveling the world and studying agritech during his absence. HSBC net profit more than doubles in the first half, announces $2 billion share buyback. CNBC. HSBC reported a net profit of $18. $1 billion for the first half of 2022, more than double the previous year's figure. The bank's profit before tax also rose 147% year-on-year to $21.
$7 billion. In response to the strong results, HSBC's board approved a second interim dividend of $0, 10 per share, and announced a share buyback of up to $2 billion. CEO Noel Quinn stated that if all goes well this year, the bank's dividend could return to pre-pandemic levels. Revenue for the first half increased by 50% to $36, $9 billion, driven by higher net interest income and interest rate rises. Technology News. Can robots crack a joke? The limits of AI's humor understanding. Neuroscience news. Artificial intelligence, AI, lacks an understanding of humor, according to a study by researchers at Cornell University. The study tested AI models and humans on tasks involving the New Yorker magazine's cartoon caption contest and found that humans significantly outperformed the machines in all tasks indicating that AI's understanding of humor still needs improvement. While AI may not fully understand humor yet, it could potentially serve as a tool for humorous brainstorming ideas. Apple rolling out second public beta of iOS 17 and MacOS 14 9 to 5 map. Apple has released the second public beta of iOS 17, iPadOS 17, WatchOS 10, tvOS 17, and MacOS Sonoma to users registered in the Apple Beta software program. These updates have been available to developers for beta testing since June. The new builds for iOS 17 and MacOS Sonoma do not come with any new features. The updates bring various changes and enhancements to features such as phone, messages, FaceTime, lock screen customization, health and journal apps, and more. The software will be officially released to the public this fall. It is important to note that beta software may have bugs, so users should back up their data and avoid installing it on their main devices. New Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom statue looks perfectly bonkers. Kotaku, a new resin statue of Link from the Legend of Zelda. Tears of the Kingdom is available for $150. The 1-4 scale statue features intricate details and includes LEDs that make the base and Link's corrupted arm glow. Fans have commented on the statue's composition and the choice of the Zonai contraption. A rap song about today's technology news in the style of Dave Bird, also known as Lil Dicky. Yo, check it, I bring the flavor, no need to debate, gonna rap about news in the style of your favorite mate. First up, we got robots trying to crack a joke, but AI's humor understanding, it's a limit they choke. Neuroscience news got the scoop, they got the facts, but robotic laughter, can it really match human acts? Moving on, we got Apple rolling out a new beta release, iOS 17 and MacOS 14. It's the tech beast, nine to five, Mac got the info, it's spreading like fire. Apple users unite, getting hyped, climbing higher, testing out the new features. They can't wait to explore Apple, always innovating, bringing more and more. Last but not least, let's talk about Zelda. Oh man, a new statue called Tears of the Kingdom. It's the plan, Kotaku says it looks bonkers. Absolutely insane with its vibrant colors. It'll make you go insane. Zelda fans be freaking out. Can't wait to own it. Adding to their collection. They won't quit. They won't quit. So there you have it. A wrap about the latest news from robots telling jokes to Apple's beta blues and that Zelda statue that's driving fans wild. Stay updated with the world. That's the style, my child. Sports news. Noah Syndergaard exits game after getting hit by comebacker MLB on ESPN. ESPN. Yankees remain inactive on trade block while suffering loss to Rays. New York Daily News. The New York Yankees are feeling frustrated after a series of losses and are facing a tough decision as the trade deadline approaches. While other teams have been upgrading, the Yankees have not made any moves yet. It is unclear whether they will buy or sell, but the market looks stronger for sellers. Yankees players, including team captain Aaron Judge, have expressed a desire to win and focus on improving as a team. However, it remains to be seen what decision the organization will make. Joey Menaces, Lane Thomas Power Nationals by Brewers at Trade Deadline, The Washington Post. Joey Menaces propelled the Washington Nationals to a five. Three win over the Milwaukee Brewers with a solo home run, double, and go-ahead single in the decisive seventh inning. 
The Nationals also announced a trade that sent third baseman Jimer Candelario to the Chicago Cubs for two prospects. Health news. Department of Children, Youth and Families reports near death of two-year-old child, WJR. The article reports on the near-death incident of a two-year-old child as documented by the Rhode Island Department of Children, Youth and Families. Scientists discover antibodies that can fight off all strains of COVID. Daily Mail. Researchers have discovered six new antibodies in the blood of patients who had survived the SARS virus of 2002 and received a vaccination against COVID-19. The most powerful antibody, E7, was found to neutralize newly emerged SARS-CoV-2 variants, including Omicron. The antibodies prevent the virus from infecting cells and causing illness. The research provides encouraging evidence that pan-coronavirus vaccines are possible. The antibodies also proved effective against other coronaviruses transmitted between mammals. The researchers hope to develop these antibodies as therapeutic treatments against current and future strains of coronavirus. Drinking kombucha may help to reduce blood sugar levels in people with type 2 diabetes. Daily Mail. Drinking kombucha may help reduce blood sugar levels in people with type 2 diabetes, according to a small study. After four weeks of drinking kombucha daily with dinner, volunteers saw a significant drop in blood sugar levels compared to the control group. However, more research is needed to confirm these findings. Kombucha is a fermented tea that may also have other health benefits, such as improving gut health and reducing cholesterol. Entertainment news. Travis Scott slammed by lawyers for nine-year-old Astroworld victim, Daily Mail. Travis Scott and his legal team have been criticized by a lawyer representing the family of a nine-year-old boy who died in the Astroworld tragedy. The lawyer slammed Scott's team for claiming that a police report was intentionally released to harm the rapper's album sales. The attorney called the remarks stunningly tone deaf and criticized Scott for not taking responsibility for the tragedy. Christina Aguilera puts on a leggy display as she sizzles in a sparkly purse, micro mini skirt. Daily Mail. Christina Aguilera showed off her fashion sense by wearing a sparkly pink mini skirt that resembled the coveted Hermes Birkin bag. She shared photos on Instagram, tagging the designers Namelia and A. Morer. The skirt featured a single handle at the front, reminiscent of the iconic Birkin bag. Aguilera paired the skirt with a black short sleeve shirt and perspex heels and her platinum blonde hair was styled in an updo. Birkin bags are highly sought after in the fashion world, and the late Jane Birkin, the bag's inspiration, often personalized hers with stickers and talismans. Suzanne Summers Health, Three's Company star on breast cancer return, USA Today. Suzanne Summers, who previously battled breast cancer, has announced that her cancer has returned. In a statement to Entertainment Tonight, she expressed her determination to fight the disease and not let it control her. She also mentioned that her cancer has strengthened her relationship with her husband. This is not the first time Summers has faced cancer as she previously battled it in the early 2000s. She reassured her fans on Instagram that she is a fighter and has used alternative and conventional treatments to combat the disease. Now a silly joke or two to lighten the mood after all the heavy stuff. Don't buy flowers at a monastery because only you can prevent florist friars. It was raining cats and dogs the other day. I almost stepped in a poodle. Can I watch the TV? Dad, yes, but don't turn it on. Hope you enjoyed tonight's artificial intelligence generated news digest daily AGNDD. For more, please like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers. Mm -hmm.